I hate it when people urinate in the toilet overnight and then leave the urine and then don't flush the toilet and then it smells horrible in the morning. I think there's a rationale behind that and it would definitely be that if you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night you would Theoretically speaking, you have to turn the light on, but in doing that, you would then have to admit to yourself that you need to wake up. So it's easier just to go to the toilet, not flush it, because by flushing it, you're gonna wake up the household, and then deal with it in the morning. It's my pet peeve when it comes to toilets is when I have to change the toilet roll at the end of the roll every single time. That's my biggest pet peeve. I think when somebody leaves just two little pieces of toilet paper sitting on the roll, just so that they don't have to change it, that's my pet peeve. Do you know what my pet peeve is? My pet peeve is that people don't recycle toilet rolls. I don't understand why they don't recycle them. My pet peeve is toilet terrorists. Uh, people who deliberately set out to destroy the toilet. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's ones and twos everywhere. <laughs> Seat, floor, sometimes the wall. I have a bit of a habit of going to the toilet in the middle of the night and because I don't want to disrupt the household and I don't want to admit that I'm awake, I don't turn on any lights. A couple of times I've been caught out and gone to sit on the toilet and nearly fallen in the bowl because someone hasn't put the toilet seat down. So that's definitely my pet peeve. Gentlemen, put the seat down. Actually, my pet peeve is not exactly about the toilets. It's simply when women complain about when they, uh, that men don't put the toilet seat down. Just turn the light on. How hard is it? It's so simple. Two thousand two hundred and forty children die each day from severe diarrhoea, which is spread through poor sanitation and hygiene. Two point five billion people around the world do not have access to adequate sanitation. One in ten African school age girls do not attend school during menstruation or drop out at the time of puberty because of lack of privacy and sanitation facilities in schools. HIV, AIDS and diarrhoea are the top causes of death. This is due to a lack of basic sanitation facilities. Every dollar spent on water and sanitation generates at least four dollars in increased economic opportunity. We're talking about toilets because it's a conversation that needs to be had. Lack of access to clean toilets, toilets without toilet paper, without soap, and little education around sanitation and hygiene have devastating effects on communities, families, and children. It's something so simple, and it's something that we can support to change. So follow Toilet Talk and be part of the conversation.